Okay, welcome back, YouTube. Uh, let's go ahead and continue um, with uh, the series. Uh, the, I call it a series, I guess. The uh, uh, on uh, XBMC. Now, on the last video, we installed it from the uh, repository in Linux. And now, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and open it up and and show you how to get your uh, channels, your first channels going. So what we're going to do is, in order to open it up, how do you open it up? Well you go over to your application manager and then you'll type in XBMC here and one thing that I like to do is here it is right here I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna add it to my desktop make it easier to get to and there it is so we're gonna open it up and here it is okay um, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is obviously you're gonna want channels because you're gonna want something to watch and those channels are considered to be add-ons now you'll see under under videos here you have add-ons and you have files files are local they can be local or they can be located on the internet someplace you just have to um, provide a source but for what we're doing right now I'm going to show you how to install the very first you know your first add-on that you know is already uh, should have already come with the default repository for XBMC when you install it this is the easiest way to do it um, you do have access to some so I'm going to click on add-ons and you'll notice in here there are no add-ons there's nothing in here you can choose yet um, so what you're going to want to do is you want to click get more okay and these are all the different um, I guess you'd consider them to be channels or add-ons that are located within the um, repository um, the default repository that you get with XBMC now if you look here a couple of them every so often will say broken if they're broken obviously you can't install them okay so you know for housekeeping it might be a good idea to you know go through and see if you can't um, take those out but we're not gonna do anything like that right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here and let's let's add, let's do our very first one and fittingly enough let's do YouTube so all you do is you go to whatever channel you want and we're gonna use YouTube click on it with a left click and then you're gonna get the option here to install so you click on install and I know that was terribly terribly difficult right um, a lot of times when you the first time you install it it will show downloading and then once it says enabled you're able to use it okay so what I want to do now is I want to go back up oh and I'm sorry when you go up because the add-ons te technically is located in the system area, I'm gonna hit the home page and I'll show you here in a minute. Um, where we were just a second ago was actually uh, actually right here in settings and add-ons. This is where we, where we were a little bit ago under video add-ons. See? See, this is where we were at. This is not where we want to be though. What we want to do and what, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm coming off a menu and then I'm right clicking and that will take me back so if you go over to videos and add-ons now we should see YouTube and there it is um, if I click on YouTube and I go to search um, you'll see that I've already done when I was testing this out earlier I did a search for Bahamut OS just to show you how this works but I'll do it again you click on search and this will actually save your searches you know and I believe that's a setting that you can you can change also but if we do it do a search here and I'll do Bahamut OS it's me and I hit enter you'll see it's working and it pulls up and it performs the search uh, the very same way you would if you use the the search bar um, on the YouTube uh, website but it'll pull up uh, you know whatever you search for and you know you can kind of look through and pick and choose um, this one is actually not mine but all the rest of these are my videos so you can just click on them and it will actually play in uh, in the uh, uh, XBMC has its own player okay so that's how you use um, that's how you install a an add-on from the default uh, repository that you already have but what if you have something um, that you want to use that you know about it an add-on that you know about um, but it's not included in the in the default repository well I have one in particular
that I this is an add-on that I absolutely adore. It's it's just fantastic. Well, how do you, how do you put it in? I'm gonna show you how. You go over to System, and you're gonna want to go to File Manager, click on it, and then you'll notice here you have no sources as it is. So you're gonna double click Add Source, and it'll open up this window. Okay, right here where it says None in this in this uh, box right here, you're gonna click on it, and this is the point where you can add or you're going to type in your address. So the very first one I want to install is, is a is an add-on called Mashup and it is a fantastic absolutely fantastic um, add-on and I'll sh I'll show you why here in a minute. Um, but the address for it is http colon slash slash um, install dot mashup xbmc dot com hit enter and that'll put it right in here and that yeah make sure your address is correct um, you do have to give a name for it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an asterisk because what that's going to do it, these things are in an alphabetical order an asterisk is going to make sure it's because it's a symbol it's going to be toward the top uh, that was a tip that I got from um, another video on YouTube I can't remember who the user is so my apologies for that but um, this actually is something that I like to do for for the add-ons um, or the rather the sources that I will probably use often. So this one is for mashup. Yeah, let's do it like that. Mashup. So I'll hit enter. Now that I've given it a name, I'll click OK. And now you can see it's listed as a source. Alright. So I'm going to go back to the now that that is listed as a source, I can go back to the home page just by hitting the home button here. And then now I'm going to go into settings system settings okay click on that and we're gonna go to the add-on selection here click on add-ons and you'll see these are all the add-ons from the, the the video add-ons from the default directory so I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna go up again because what I'm looking for is not here okay here we are this is what you want install from a zip file okay click on it and you can see now this is actually listed as a source so you click on it once and the first thing you're going to want to do is install the repository so go down here to the repository folder open it up okay and you'll see there's two different zip files located here and it's taking this information off the internet okay off that location you're going to want the mashup repo which is the mashup repository so click on it and we're gonna wait there it is all add-ons by mash add-on enabled okay so now that that's in there we can go to get add-ons okay and you'll see now it's listed in here all add-ons by mash which is what the status message told us it was called a minute ago so we're gonna click on that and then we're gonna go down to video add-ons and we have a selection he's got three different I guess you call it channels um, I'm not interested in any uh, Baltimore Ravens, okay, whatever. Um, the Sportsaholic one is broken. I'm not really interested in either one of those. Mashup is the one I'm interested in, so I'm going to click on Mashup and go down here to Install. Click on Install. Now, it says Enabled. Um, sometimes, and I ran into this a little bit ago, um, and I did not record it, but sometimes it will take a minute for it to download, and usually what you'll get is a status message here, a SAS message, message saying downloading and it'll give you a percentage until it's done. Once it's done, it will say enabled. Once this says enabled, that means that you should be able to, at this point, let me go out to the home page, okay? You should be able to go over to videos now, because it was a video add-on, and uh, go to the video add-ons um, menu, and there, mashup is there. So I'm gonna click on mashup. Now I ran this earlier, uh, typically what you'll get is you'll get a page um, that will have like import, important announcements you just close that out uh, one of the things that is a little bit annoying about mashup the first time you start it is it will play this video automatically um, it's a little bit loud I'll, I'll just let you know that ahead of time it's a little bit loud and it is a little bit of an annoyance that they that they force you to watch that the minute you put it on um, you don't have to watch it you can close it out um, but it's a good idea to go ahead and you know 
look at the important announcements and see what they have to say. Um, I don't want to take anything away from them because really, honestly, I like this, this add-on, but that video does get a little bit irritating, so I'm giving you a heads up now. Um, I, again, I did a little bit ago. That's why it didn't show up here, but it will very likely, the very first time, it will show for you. So that's not out of the ordinary, expect it. But once you're done with that, this is typically what you'll get when you open it up. Okay, And one of the reasons why I like uh, Mashup so much is you have all these different um, uh, these different buttons that you can click and it takes you to different places obviously um, the super search is great um, you can you know if you click on super search you can search TVs or you know TV shows or movies um, I'll do an example on TV show that I like a lot um, I'm a big fan of Game of Thrones so let's just do a search for that under TV shows and it's going it's doing the super search okay um, this is one way to do it there is another add-on that I'm going to show you here in a minute also that is set up a little bit nicer than this um, and the reason being is this shows every episode you know everything that's uploaded and it's not quite uh, it's not quite as organized as I really like it to be but it is a source you know, so you, and you can the super search is nice in that you can find just about you know anything that you want TV or movies. You can usually find it in there. Okay, I'm gonna out myself a little bit as kind of a geek and a nerd, but I'm a fan of anime. So if I click on that, they've got four different channels in here, and I'm just kind of showing you. Let's go to Anime Tune. You click on it, you come down through here, and you've got again everything is organized pretty nicely. Is one of the reasons why I like. Um, mashup most of what they have is organized pretty well and I say most but as an example you know if you go into like dubbed anime um, you can click on that and you'll see you can you can you know kind of browse through it alphabetically um, you can see what's popular newly released recently you know you just look through here completed genre uh, genre is kind of nice because it just you know depends on what you like as an example but the point in all this is just to show you that you know, there's there's quite a bit that's organized very, very well. And it makes it very user-friendly to go through here and take a look. But here, let me just do do popular real quick. Um, when you pull these up, you'll look o and notice over here on the right-hand side, you know, you've got, um, they call it fan art, but it's, it's almost like, like a DVD cover, kind of representative of the series or whatever it is that you're looking at. Um, you just go through here and that's a really good one. I'll let you know that right now. And uh, a word of caution real quick while we're on the subject of anime. Two parents. Just because it's a cartoon does not mean that it's automatically G-rated. Let me just leave it at that. Okay, so as a word of caution, um, I've not found anything in here, you know, uh, like hentai or anything, you know, too explicit. But in the same capacity, you have to understand that these are Japanese animes and over in Japan, anime is is considered to be an art form, and it's and they make anime for all age groups. So that being said, parents, please, you know, kind of uh, pre-screen a little bit before you allow your child to you know <laughs> watch anime. Um, High School DxD, as an example, this is actually one of my favorite um, animes, and it's one of the most popular ones out right now. Um, but this this one doesn't you know it, it has adult situations they do kind of draw and I'm gonna say draw because they're tunes they do draw a little bit of skin so and that has to do with the the situations <laughs> that the guys put in it's actually kind of funny but it's certainly not something that I would recommend um, for children out there so uh, parents again that's my public service message for the day just be aware of that um, but back to what we're what we're doing here. Uh, this is again one of the reasons why I like uh, Mashup, and I think it's it's something that you should definitely uh, definitely install. Um, so that was Mashup. There is one other one, and let me do this the easy way. Let's just go back to the home page. Um, there is one other one that I like a lot, um, and we're going to do it the same way: System, and then File Manager, and then we're going to add a source, just like we did the last time. And this one, I like to think of it as kind of an installer, okay? And it's called Fusion, um, and it's by XBMC Hub. Uh, but it is a collection of, it's just a lot of repositories and um, 
and therefore channels because each repository has a you know selection of channels as well but the address is http colon slash slash fusion f u s i o n dot x b m c hub dot com hit enter okay and then down here you want to give it a name like i said i kind of see this as an installer so i'm going to call it fusion installer i'm going to hit done and then go down here click ok just like we did with mashup and now we have it as a a source okay and just like we did before you go out to the home page system and then you're going to go to settings just like we did the last time over to add-ons just like we did before and you'll notice that we're still at the add-ons page um, where we went into mash a little bit ago so to, to we need to go up many levels um, to where we yeah you know, here it is install from zip file okay so this is the one we want just like we did with mashup so we'll click on that and this time we're gonna go into the fusion installer okay click on that once and I'm gonna go down here to where it says movies and TV I'm gonna open that up and you'll see all of these are repositories okay um, I'm interested in the lambda repository and there's a reason for that so I'm gonna go ahead and click on lambda or repository lambda and I'm gonna wait for it there it is lambda's XBMC add-ons and the add-on is enabled so just like we did the last time I'm gonna now go up to get add-ons and now it's listed here as lambda's XBMC add-ons click on that and then I'm gonna go down to the video add-ons and as I said before there's there's a lot you see there's several um, several uh, channels in here I'm a big fan of go TV so I'm gonna click on it and click install um, and this that's actually the uh, the add-on that I use to watch Game of Thrones when I'm watching it and I'll show you why here in a little bit I'm all I also like go movies so I'm gonna install it same way click on it and then click install glow movies which are in HD um, I like that channel as well so I'm gonna click on it and then click install and normally what you'll see because I have installed these before you know when I, when I was making sure all the servers were up so I could show you how to do this um, this will usually show downloading and you can actually download more than one at a time so you just go through and select them and click install and on the next one but uh, once it says enabled you're ready to use it I also am a big fan of values so I'm gonna go ahead and install that that's that's actually a really good one too for movies um, so now I've got all of these enabled um, I'm gonna go down here to the home screen and I'm gonna go over to videos and add-ons just like we do with any, anything else right we did with mashup and YouTube and now I've got all of these listed in here okay so just go TV I'm gonna go to it and I'm gonna go to popular just because I already know that this is where I can locate you know Game of Thrones you can do a search you can do searches by genres all this I invite you to play around with this and, and just see how it works it's all very user-friendly um, but I'm gonna click on popular and right there the very first one is Game of Thrones um, it's the most popular show right now anyway and if you've not seen it I recommend it you know it, it takes a minute to get into the uh, into the storyline but it takes off pretty fairly quickly so um, but if you click on Game of Thrones what I like about this one as opposed to what I showed you on the uh, on the mashup the the super search uh, this actually breaks it up into seasons which is really nice um, so as an example um, season one if you've not ever seen it before I'll open it up these are the episodes season one episode one all the way through episode 10 but if I open up episode one click on it it says opening stream it's not actually opening a stream just yet but it's getting the information of where that episode is located as far as uh, different servers and you'll be able to choose which server I'll be able to show you that here in a second here it is so like here these are all the different servers that that episode is on that you can connect to and have it stream so you can watch it um, a quick note real quick uh, real quickly over here right here you'll see this one says HD and then on down is SD um, this is high definition and then there's standard definition now it depending on what your bandwidth is you pick and choose you know if your bandwidth isn't fast enough to handle high def um, then what you're gonna get is you're, it's gonna 
buffer, it'll play for a little bit, then it'll freeze, and it'll have to buffer again and do that, all that kind of noise. Um, if it's fast enough, it won't have any problem, um, typically, with the exception of, you know, issues like internet connectivity and congestion, things like that. Um, but that's essentially what the HD and the SD is here. Um, I'm not going to open that and start playing it, um, because it will likely mess up my video recorder, so my screen recorder, so um, I'm going to go ahead and close it out. But in any case, you know, I can click back, and then we can go over to Season 4, which is the latest right now, and you can see there's only been three episodes of Season 4 that have been out, and you can see the very last one here, Episode 3. It tells you when it aired. Aired 420, 2014. That was last week. There should be another one tonight, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, um, my point is, it it stays pretty pretty current, fairly current. It, I mean, the the episodes come up pretty fast. Um, so, uh, and th this was just an example, you know, of Game of Thrones, because I'm I'm a big fan of Game of Thrones. But if you look through here, there's all sorts. There's Walking Dead. That's pretty popular. And then, you know, Vikings, I've heard, is pretty popular. Breaking Bad, you know, here's the Big Bang Theory. Um, Supernatural. I mean, you've got all these different ones. Um, here's House. You know, the the uh, thumbnail hasn't loaded yet. But here's House, Doctor Who, you know, The Following. There's Grey's Anatomy up there. That's an older show, but it was fairly popular, I think, back in the day. Um, anywho, so... You've got all these different things to choose from. You can go to the next page. There's even more. Um, you can find a lot of, of things to watch on here. So with that, I think I've, I've kind of shown you how to uh, how to get your get yourself set up um, to be able to use um, XBMC. This is a great, great, great program to have. Um, with the cost of, of out where I live, I have to have satellite because we, we don't have cable um, out in the sticks out here. So I know what what satellite costs. At least you know for my family here, it's it's you know over two hundred dollars a month, and it's ridiculously expensive. Um, when if you've got a good enough internet connection, you have XBMC. There really is no need for it. Um, and that's just my opinion. Um, so that'd be a good way to save quite a bit of money. Um, I'm often amazed how many people do not know about XBMC. Um, I'm a little bit irked that I only really looked into it just a couple weeks ago, like I said, um, because I could have been, you know, utilizing this for a very long time now. It's been a, it's been around a while. Um, so with that, I highly suggest and I actually request, you know, share this video. You know, put it, you know, share it on Facebook. Let everybody know. Let your friends know that there is an alternative, and you can save some money, quite a bit of money, by doing it this way. You know, um, internet connections are really good now. You know, bandwidth is high enough. You can get good quality um, content to view. Um, you know, good shows to watch. It's great entertainment, and it doesn't cost you anything. You know, you can install it. XBMC, as I said in the, in the other video, um, it can be installed on uh, pretty much every operating system there is, as far as I know. Um, they, it, it covers pretty much everything, so everybody, there's really no excuse. Um, I've actually, I'm going to be doing some videos on the Raspberry Pi um, with XBMC, because I think that's probably what I'm going to end up doing, is, is my original idea was just to make it a media server anyway, but I think I'm definitely going to go with XBMC. Um, there's some other um, features that XBMC has um, that allows it to be a quite literally a media server, um, which I'll be covering that in future videos, hopefully, um, when I've got it all figured out. But in any case, that's how this goes. Please like, subscribe, share, definitely share. You know, let let your friends and family know that they can do this. So, and you're welcome to share directly from the link, um, or you know, this this uh, video directly. Um, I think everybody should know about this. It's a, it's just a, a fantastic, fantastic program. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this rather long video. Um, in the next video, I'm going to go through showing you how to set the time, I think, because I'm going to do that next. But Anyway, with that, thank you very much for walk, watching again. Like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you on the next video.